Welcome to the second of the pests, uh, roll ball die validation. Uh, there are three possible validations for this function, a type check, present check, and range check. I am just going to look at the type check in this one. Um, present check and range check, exactly the same as for the player name validation. Just look at that, you should be able to apply it. The reason why the type check is important is because uh, it could lead to a runtime error, i.e. the program crashing. If I try and stick the word Bob into an integer variable, uh, sorry, a variable of the integer data type, then the program will throw an exception, a runtime error. So we're going to put a type check into the um, code so that, that can't happen. So this is the roll ball die function. Uh, it runs uh, repeatedly uh, whilst the game is playing, and we can see currently. We've got an if statement, and that simply discerns whether we've got the computer-generated um, dice or the user-entered dice. And it's this input that we're interested in. But I'm actually going to validate uh, around the whole of this construct. So the first thing we need to do is to put in a valid role variable so we can use it to exit the validation loop later on and to, to, to work out whether it's um, the validation is true or not. Obviously I'm using a boolean. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is use a try catch statement. This is just a posh selection statement, a posh if statement. If I put my input inside the try part of the try catch statement, then if an exception is thrown, if a runtime error occurs, it effectively doesn't run this bit of code. It sort of backtracks and then just runs the bit between the catch and the end try. So it's almost like if this is a load of rubbish, then run this. That's actually what's happening. Uh, so I'm obviously going to set valid role equal to false in the um, in the catch part of it, and I'm going to give them a little message to give the user a little uh, message so that roles must be integers between one and six seems pretty fair. So currently I've now removed the, uh, the the possibility of a runtime error occurring due to a bad input here. Um, because it's a validation of course I need to put it in a loop so let's do that and we'll loop until valid role equals to true and that's pretty much it. I just need to make sure I initialize valid role equals true within the loop otherwise if I run this once and it will, it will then continue to run. Uh, so it will continue to read false. So I need to make sure that I reset valid role equal to true each time this input is going to, to, to be allowed. And uh, now we need to test it. Okay, so I've um, initialized the program. It's a posh way of saying I've typed in Joe and Bob. I've put in two player names. I've chosen to play the game with real dice, which is obviously what I've got to do for this uh, validation testing. And uh, I'm just at the stage where if I enter, I'll actually start playing the game. So, um, it's now saying, please roll the bottom dice, enter your results. So, I roll the dice, and because I am an idiot, I'm going to type in Bob. Uh, if I hadn't done this validation, the program would now crash. Instead, what happens, it gives me a message, rolls plus me integers between 1 and 6, and asks me to do it again. So, let's try typing in a sensible number now, 2, and it's recorded the score. Uh, please ask sense to continue. Let's see what happens if I type in 9. Now, this is not erroneous data. This, is not, this will not produce a runtime error, but it is out of the range of the expected results. And what actually happens is sort of nothing. It didn't really record the result, but it didn't let me know that that was invalid. So I do need to put in a range validation, uh, which is what we'll do in, in, the, next, in the next part of the, the pests. But for now, I've tested that erroneous data no longer produces a runtime error. And we did that by using the try catch statement, Oops. the try catch statement with my sort of validation bits and pieces in the catch part. And of course, uh, good old loop, which exits when I have a valid input.